for this types of problems. Um, if you guys remember, when we're talking about degrees, number of degrees as our circle all the way around is 360 degrees. You go one degree, two degrees, three degrees, four degrees, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Now remember when you guys um, when you guys learn measurement, like feet, you learn like one foot, two feet, three feet, right? Mm -hmm. And then if I said, what about a smaller increment of feet? You started learning inches, right? Inches are just a smaller increment of feet. Just like centimeters and meters, right? It's just a smaller way to break down the measurement. Well, for degrees, we have, a, we have a way to break down degrees, and we call those our minutes and seconds, okay? And the way that we do that is um, we need to think about a degree, and we're going to break it up into minutes and seconds. And what this question asks is write this in decimal form of your degree. So I want a degree that's actually going to give me a decimal. Right now, what this reads is 330 degrees and 25 seconds. Well, when right at an angle, there's a degree, you have your minutes, which we don't have in this problem, and your seconds. So here's how you're going to do that. Think of degrees as an hour, okay? Just in terms of a measurement, think of it as an hour. If I think of minutes, how many minutes are in an hour? 60. 60. So when we're going to write a number like this in decimal form, we have 330 degrees, we have zero minutes, but if we did have minutes, you'd write it over 60, right? Because there's 60 minutes in one hour. Thinking like an hour is the same as like a degree. And then how many seconds are in a minute? 60. 60, 60 times 60, because there's 60 minutes in an hour, is 3,600. All right, now this problem, we represent minutes with the one plus three and seconds with two. So in this problem, you guys notice we don't have any minutes, right? But we have 25 seconds. So all you're going to do is you're going to take your calculator. And obviously, 0 over 60 is 0. But you do 25 divided by 3,600 is 0 .0069. So my answer would be 330 degrees plus 0, right? But that was a decimal you added in there, plus Point zero zero six nine four four, and that's repeating. So then you just add three hundred and thirty point zero zero six nine four four degrees. I'm rounding up to point zero zero seven. Yes, yeah, so you can approximate it. Dep it all depends on what we're doing, what the, what the answer is asking to approximate to what value. So you can see it's going to be three hundred thirty uh, point zero zero six nine point four repeating degrees. Okay. Michael? Yeah, I understand it. Michael? Okay. There you go. That's how you do that. So, wait, what 